Okay, this is a Power of the Force figure on a Tri-Logo card. This is the Imperial Dignitary or Dignitaire Imperial. It's got it in English and French. And it's got a Palatoy sticker there. It says new figure £1.59. And so this would have been sold in England. And this is at the end of the line, so figures were reduced in price to get rid of them, get them off the shelves. The bubble is typical of tri logos, it's, got, it's quite dented, especially at the top, you can see where it's quite crushed. And then also dented at the bottom. The figure is rather unarticulated but it has a nice face sculpt it's quite detailed it looks quite it looks quite zombified so the articulation in this figure would be just the two arms swivel plus the two legs and the head would twist neck would twist and here we've got the picture of the imperial dignitary with, he's got red bloodshot eyes, whereas this figure's got more a greenish tint to them. Imperial Dignitary. So on these cards, Trilogo cards, they had their the names at the bottom, whereas on all the other cards, the name would be around there, just underneath the actual logo. This is Trilogo card which means that it's got the three Return of the Jedi logos in French, Spanish and English plus as it's a Power of the Force tri logo it has the barcode all the other tri logos that do not have Power of the Force figures do not have that barcode again this figure a card is unpunched and it's the back of the tri logo card so some people say that depending on the colour of the back, so some of these cards are very yellow and some are th more like this, a sort of yellowish with a, tint, a tinge of brown. It, it, you can say which country they're from, so they say that if it's very yellow it's a, a German card. It's got a white area there, no barcode, and then all the different European places that distribute these cards. So you've got the French Meccano, you've got the German General Mills, the Spanish PPB, the Palatoy, which is the English one, and the back only shows 70 figures doesn't show any of the Power of the Force figures and it show, doesn't show any of the figures that were available such as Greedo, R, R5D4 oh no it's got R5D4 uh, Greedo, Snaggletooth, Hammerhead and a few others that weren't put onto Trilogo or well, they were, they were put onto a single logo, tri logo card. But more of that. And the card's not in too bad condition, it's quite nice, nice picture, glossy. I mean, the biggest defects with this card are the bubble, but like most tri logos and palatoy cards, the bubble is clear because they use the thinner plastic it just tends that because the bubble size is rather large th that these bubbles tend to be creased okay here's Barada and he is a skiff guard from Return of the Jedi Power of the Force one of the last 17 Kenner card comes with a staff as a weapon reasonably good sculpt
yellow bubble, typical of Power of the Falls and Kenner cards. There's the coin, Barada, Skiff Century. Nice card though, pretty, pretty good condition. Unpunched again. Here's the back of the Barada card. So it's a lot better condition than the uh, Amana Man card. Exactly the same though, same information as the other card. Okay, it's another Tri Logo card. It's Darth Vader. And it has the name Darth Vader and it ha also has his French name, Dark Vardoa. Bubble's pretty crushed, especially at the bottom. It's the same figure that was released on the 12 back, they didn't change this figure at all. There's a crease there, you can just see it, make it out. Bubble's clear again. There's no £1.59 British price sticker on it. So you can see clearly the three logos, French, Spanish and English, plus all the five languages there that say age information. Okay, this is the first picture that they used on the Darth Vader figure. When Return of the Jedi, they switched it on some of the cards to Darth Vader pointing. But this is the first picture, so they changed it back on this card. This figure was available on all cards, so you could get on Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, Tri Logo and Power of the Force. Okay, this figure's quite tall. Comes with a lightsaber which you pull down from the arm and a black vinyl cape. Quite a good sculpt. The figure's sort of posed in a really straight standing up ray, looks kind of slim. It's definitely a sculpt of its time. Again, a couple of creases, a crease there, and a crease there. I'd suspect that's where the bubble is attached. Again, just showing 70 figures. and the information to do with the distribution in various U European countries, Meccano, Palatoy and so and such. Okay, the Darth Vader is quite desirable amongst collectors on Tri-Logo cards. Okay, it's not the best condition, but it's still a nice figure to acquire. Another look at the picture and the name at the bottom Darth Vader, Dark Vader, made in Hong Kong. And just a simple one of the original 12 figures.